Can I have his other Aww, I made it look. Oh, it's over. Okay, live lose on. Next. Um, I didn't think you thought I'd make it that easy. If that was life was that easy, it wouldn't be that easy to walk two feet in front of you and walk outside and look around. You'll feel better. Open the door, walk outside, in here like I was saying in the previous video, and do one part to you. See that being with the new, barely broken into by what I was given to me by a nice pastry church here. Of you know, Peter's all the way in the back of it. And I don't know I'm any closer, it'd be close to in deck. Which is why I couldn't find it. And you see, that's why I say when you look at something, you can't find it. When you're not looking for them, who shows up? You split away your teeth. Nine times in ten, first thing out of words is, hi, how you doing? That's a dead giveaway. Second thing you know about me is, I'm never wrong, especially failing. Never failed at being your friend. I give advice, cause it's free. Bye then. And... I thought I'd try to strike, strike you with a serious strong song of what Peter was about to say. And we're going to turn to 2 Peter 1, chapter 1. It's actually the area of section 2. Store sins to Christian virtue. Now reflect upon yourselves when you're awake in the morning and you're about to boil coffee. Who bestowed upon you lies? Well, you just your parents? No. The average kid would think that. It's not just your parents. It's G-O-D. Some sometimes say it so darn fast, they say it backwards. D-O-J. No. Da. He's pronounced a different name. Place where he comes from, Don. A la. Oh, so many names. You know, Muslim call him another name, but perhaps we're all pronounced God. You see, in the first first area of the Bible, the First Testament, if you look, there was a certain person born that could speak many languages, and he built a temple. And then one day, as you recall in the Bible, in that certain section, he came into that temple, and when they were around the temple, they started speaking different languages. Now remember, what is the universal language? English. Right. Some people sit there, you're in another country, you're traveling, touring, sightseeing, what have you, and all of a sudden, and they sit there and say, oh, never mind, you know, or, he's just carrying on a motorcycle moped. You don't understand no English. You're greatly mistaken, that's what he's trying to say, while helping you find your way around a barn, because you can't find a way you're can't find your way around a street if your life depended on it. Even with only a compass, okay? Go that way. Find pastor, 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 big left, big right, big left, big right. You'll eventually get, yeah, you'll get there. That's what he really wants to tell you because he just was rude to her. He just that guy or her, that little girl or him. Well, I don't even think he understood. He speaks Cantonese. He may speak Japanese. He may speak a different language, but in, in God's eyes, we're all what? Equal. That's right. Remember that. Before that even comes out of your mouth, hey, that's someone's family, that's someone's person, that's someone's friend right there. He may have a master degree, a PhD in his backpack while mopedding you along to get to your next destination for five pesos. Remember that. Because he's not afraid of work, he or she, for one and two, respect those loves thy neighbor around him or her. And he's not afraid to live life fully one day at a time. He may be trying to move themselves up from that area, that position. Who are you to judge that person? Remember that. That could be a dog owner. That could be some, that couldn't be some homeless person. That could be some priest trying to test your character driving by 
for you to cuss them out. Wait till they take off their real disguise and put on a badge. Then you'll be feeling like a real spud cake day. Remember that. Especially if they're outside your post. Because you might be surprised at what titles of their life to before carrying a little, sending you a flame. Not so many words. That'd be a fudge cake day. Don't say I didn't help you with that. Everybody deserves respect regardless of where you come from or what race you are. It's not about race. It's not about culture. It's not about age. It's about heart. Got that? Okay, good. At least in my eyes. I didn't say, speak of anybody else's eyes because everybody else describes themselves as changing for the better. There are people who aren't doing drugs no more watching this video because, hey, obviously, he started from here and worked his way up to get somewhere. He earned it. I live life one day at a time like everybody else in a positive manner and a right way. There's no wrong way here. Moving right along to Peter-1 here. Extortion to Christian virtue. Remember this song. Okay, the power of God's promise, His divine power has bestowed on us everything that makes us for life and devotion through the knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and power. For through these, He has bestowed on us the precious and very great promises, so that though them you may have come to share in the divine nature after escaping with the corruption that is in the world because of His e of evil desire, for this main very reason every effort is to supplement your faith with virtue, virtue with knowledge, knowledge with self-control, self-control with endurance, endurance with devotion, devotion with mutual affection, mutual affection with love. Trust me. Some teens are watching this and they're just wanting to say it, to see it backwards. Okay, wait a minute. He said something. I know what he said. You gotta have all three before you even start today, okay? Try it. It's not right. Because if you have all three and you can understand all three meanings, all those three meaningful words right there, not just what I'm still working on, the great project of love. Feelings of love, not just at the airport, not just a lot like, well, the movie, the beginning part of the movie, there's a big meaning right there. Okay? Big emotion. Gotta have all three. Before you even carry on the day, there's a guy named Jack Black, Joe Black, who can understand this abbreviation. What do I ask? Positive when it's therefore I will always remind you of these things even though you already know them they're established in the truth you have. Again, I think it's right as long as I am in this tent to stir you. Virtue with virgin and knowledge and knowledge. And self control, self control, endurance and backing up. With devotion, devotion with mutual affection, mutual affection with love. If these are yours and increase in abundance, then they will keep you from being idle or unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Anyone who lacks them is blind and short-sighted, forgetful of the things of his past sins. Therefore, let us be all the more eager to make your call and election firm. For in doing so, we will never stumble. For in this way, enter in the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be richly provided for you. Apostle witness. Therefore, I will always remind you of these things, even though you know them or establish them in truth. You have, I think, it right. As long as I am in this tent, so stir up your mind, since I know that I will soon have to put it aside, as indeed our Lord Jesus Christ has shown me, shall also make every effort to establish you always in mind these things that after my departure we do not fall clearly devised myths when we made those who know you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. For we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty, for he received honor and glory by the God of the Father, 
the team declaration came to me from the metrics glorified. This is my son, my beloved, with whom I w am well pleased. We all ourselves heard this voice comes from the hill while we were all him on the whole time. Moreover, we possess a pathetic message that don't forget a reliable you all, you will do well to be attentive to it as the lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your heart. Know this, first of all, that there is no prophecy for the scriptures, that it is a matter of personal interpretation. No prophecy ever came through human will, but rather human beings moved by the Holy Spirit spoken to the influence of God. Well, Salam. Salam Salaikum. Anumbak Enazel Guru. That Arabia means. God bless Jerusalem, the kingdom of heaven. God bless you all over there in Jerusalem, Israel, Pakistan, Bangladesh. All of you who understand the meaning of the word Bible. Someone walk up to you in a store, in a store hotel, and you have Bible. Most hotel have Bible in the bookshelf. They make people feel safe, feel at home. Hey, I may not know much English, but I understand Bible. Yes. Uh, even in uh, Japanese, Tokyo, Bible is very important. China, Bible. You know, somewhere people read Bible. They, they practice most different religions, yes, but they understand Bible. It's not hard. Some keep it in their home, on the bookshelf. Helps them feel safe. Where else? Hope you all have a great week. Remember to count your blessings because you never know. When you want to, when you think the, that all things are down, the cards are down on the table, and you're pretty much your lowest point in life, remember that spark in you. It takes a strong friend, not just. A strong friend, not just a teddy bear to remind you that they never give up when the fight's, fight's near an end. Never quit. Never do nothing. Quitter, there's no quitters here. There's only winners. Remember that. Especially you kids. Got that? Y'all better be nice to each other. Y'all better be nice to each other. Even if you don't get the same in return, remember that. It's about being yourself, love thyself, and love your neighbors too. Regardless of where they come from. After all, they might be watching out for yourself. How do you know they're not watching your backyard when you're not home during the day or night? They might be doing they may speak a different language, but they understand safety, security. They understand that someone ain't coming around for his health and it's not a little black car. It's not for his health. He's gotta be watching out for all of us together. Keeping you safe, keeping your neighbors safe, look out for each other, look out for your health as well. Even if it's not your union, um, God be with you wherever you are in the world. After all, peace, most nation leaders agree, is better than war. War is not a pretty word, not a meaningful word either. People, if there were beings on other planets that would ask to one thing, they again, I mentioned in each other video, not just in the movie, yeah, but you've seen the big the ending part. How do you explain that? I turn around and say, mankind is capable of so much more if only given the chance, especially the human emotion. You gotta have all three before you even start your day. You'll feel better, trust me, regardless of where you're at. If someone can start off the ground with 20 bucks, ends up with a roof over his head, car, family, everything still intact, you are blessed. Especially if you can breathe during the day, regardless if you're sleeping under a tree or in the rain. You're still alive, you're still breathing, you're blessed. It's a fragile gift. Live it. Can't go anywhere farther but down, you only to rise stronger than before. 
breathe in that courage and do the right thing from now on.